Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Virgo, time to do your bonus Mercury Retrograde love reading for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with moi as I inhabit this vessel for the next little bit and we check in on what's going on between you and your person for the Mercury Retrograde and New Moon Solar Eclipse in Aries. And this is a big paradigm shift of big changes. It's a portal that people don't often discuss. You've got both Mercury going retrograde in Taurus on top of the new moon solar eclipse in Aries, while the moon is really close to that line between Aries and Taurus. So this is the 420 portal, man. This is really focusing in and almost losing focus as it tunnel visions into, you know, correct, reflect, and get everything in order. You know, this is literally like the scene from Cheech and Chong. Dave's not here, you know. Like showing me like, hey man, open up, man, it's Archer, I got the readings, man. And everything. Who's that, Archer, man? And be like, yeah, man, it's Archer, open up, I got the readings, man. And be like, Archer's not here, man. And be like, oh, yeah. that right there. So it's like right on that six of swords verge of a precipice of, of, of correcting and walking away from the stuff you don't want, but looking back so you remember, you know, never forgetting that type of a thing so that uh, you come back and correct, you know, and it's happening to all of us, all 7 billion people being affected by this, right? Um, with those energies, it's a lot of looking at greatest common denominators, which more people understood math, and going with it from there. And with the sun moving from Aries into Taurus, we go, you know, we, we all exhibit a lot of the energies where the sun sign is at. So you're going from like that Roscoe P. Coltrane Aries energy of, good, good, I got them Duke boys, into Buford T. Justice showing up. And bet y'all didn't know the T stood for Taurus and Buford T. Justice. You know, just showing up and, you know, just ordering an El Diablo and a Dr. Pepper and being like, this is what we're doing, right? So you're on like a mode of receiving and transmitting equally. So deeper connections, you might even be picking more of that up because this is like a hybrid solar eclipse. You know, the moon is doing multiple things because you're looking at it from like an X, Y, and a Z axis, where how far the moon is from the earth to like, okay, let's use the six of swords who came back to the six of cups. Ooh, six, six means something, Virgo. Dig it. Okay. And if, yeah. Okay, six of swords will be the sun, six of cups is the moon. So what happens is the moon gets in between, you're the earth, okay? It gets in between the both y'all, but the first time out as the moon moves closer and further away from you on the earth, first time you see that ring of fire around it as the moon is like rooster blocking all the sun's energy, you know? But you keep looking and then as the moon closens on the earth, then that ring of fire disappears and the moon begins to absorb all the energy, full on rooster block, okay? So everything's coming in and infecting like what you, your person, everybody's freaking thinking about right now. But <clears throat> with Venus going into Gemini back on the 16th, it's it's creating this this need to want to speak and talk about it and kind of work it out, you know. So we're going to check in on that for you and your person. We're going to use the awesome Baba Boy deck for our base cards. I love the energy and the artwork on this. It brings in so many cool new messages. And like, dude, strength, Leo energy. The wands in this are fire. And this is like the only crossover of a Cancer Leo Cusper thing, Virgo, because this strength card has two lines on it. Like there's two sphinxes driving the chariot in that card. So it could be a Cancer Leo Cusper or something that motivates it forward and children and distance seem to be involved in that strength to see it through. So you're looking good and feeling good about it. All right, let's check it out. We are open to any and all messages for you and your person that we are about to receive so long as they are for Virgo's highest and greatest good. We only fly the friendly skies here at Archer Astrology. Okay. All right, let's do it. Two shuffles for Virgolicious. Let's do it. One. Ooh, it's ready to talk. And two. All right, let's love this deck for Virgolicious. Here we go, Virgo. What's going on on your side of the coin? Bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. And I literally, you had to use the coin analogy for this. Okay. Three of Pentacles, you are working with spirit on a level to measure twice and cut once and get this shit right. I love it. That's really admirable. To the Prince of Cups, you're riding the energetical wave to a Five of Cups. You're almost feeling worried and bummed out about it with the Three of Swords, though. Um, kind of like an empty or a hollowness that it might not be happening, but you're trying to just go with the flow Prince of Cups and ride it out. All right, let's take a peek, Virgie. We got the Eight of Wands. Ooh, you are talking to spirit. Full-time overtime, Prince of Wands, heavy fire energy to the star. Aquarius shows up. Could be in a somebody, Aquarius. I see Aquarius moon ringing out to the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Up in your feels big time about what you're working on manifesting 
and feeling the struggle and the competition to get to that six of wands. Um, Aquarius energy puts a focal point on this too, though, on this communication. I see a passion inside of you to communicate out to the moon and the energy and the stars, you know, sun and moon, star energy, and and transmit exactly what you're wanting. And it's like a leveling up energy. You see how this is kind of like breaking out and wanting to break free as we transition into Taurus season and stuff starts to ground out. You know, it's like being on an airplane and the in-flight movie is Journey to the Center of the Earth. You know, we go from that fire area season to like landing in the mud, it's dead stop motion. That brings the Eight of Swords to a Five of Wands where you feel like a struggle or an ongoing competition internally, Eight of Swords in your mind. And the 8-8 portal, much like how I mentioned the significance of the 420 portal, the 8-8 August portal, Leo energy, like how the strength card showed up, might be something significant that drives and motivates you through. Those portals probably ring out to you more than you kind of realize. Maybe you even tune in more 8 of Swords to the 8 of Wands to tarot channels and such. When you hit like an 8-8 or a 9-9 or a 10-10 portal and you start seeing more of those readings and you kind of miss out on the new moon transmissions like a 420 portal and that gets you to this competition that it's kind of like john lennon to paul mccartney one right in strawberry fields while the other writes penny lane so you're both talking about it but you're communicating about it and leveling up to a point with the star energy right there that aquarian energy is that pluto and aquarius influence that as everything transitions through you start to feel more uh, into a different mindset it's a different way of thinking working smarter not harder eight of wands to the five of wands you're internally eight of swords Eight of Swords in trying to achieve uh, an accomplishment, you know, and you're keeping it in the mind and, and on your own to that self. You're going for a Six of Wands type of a victory. So let's take a peek at this. I see a Virgo that is leveled up, feels more confident in themselves and talk it out. Um, with this purple, I see intuition starting to awaken more. Maybe your hermit shell is tuning more crab shell-like. And you are definitely feeling Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay? So a lot of fire and a lot of passion. Even Aquarius, even that star energy is like it's a star it's a freaking burning supernova ball up there in the sky right so it propels you in this eclipse energy page of swords mm, you're snooping you're doing some researching i love it um dude it's terrible it's a it's 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 snooping and researching okay we all do it um onto that pencil wands too okay so yeah you are looking into communications and your intuition is waking up the purple in this eight of wands is what's leading me to that point and how the eclipse energy the moon's eclipsing out the sun here as we go into the end of the month, even shows that same thing about how we're told not to stare directly at the sun, but you decided to do it. And um, it's kind of harnessing that energy in your mind, the Eight of Swords, so that you can, you know, struggle through it. I see you leveling up in a big way that you've come a long way and fought a long way for it. Six of Swords. The Six, Six, and the Eight, Eight ties into this because I've seen that Six of Swords show up as we were doing a little bit of our talks and the analogies in the beginning and tuning into your energies as we connected. Okay, Vergi? So, yeah, you're looking into a way of leveling up. I see somebody researching like healthy diets, healthier mindsets, spiritual thinking, and really embracing with this star energy. Maybe if you even started like it's springtime, looking into new fashions, you know, be it, you know, no gender in terror. There's plenty of male fashion stuff out there for the spring, just like the females and, you know, like switching it up, you know, like the, like what the girls say when you go from the yoga pants to the summer, like the springtime sundresses and stuff. And, and you're just kind of embracing it and feeling better. Maybe somebody's just getting into makeup or learning their hair. Or if you're a guy, you clean shaved it up, just like, you know, let's see how this feels for the spring. So you're just, you're like embracing a change in a new mindset, that Pluto into Aquarius energy, 10 cups that makes you feel happy. It's making you feel good, kind of looking out on ideas and getting options. Um, yeah, communicating what you want is this 10 of cups happiness. And you're looking into ways to make it happen. I'm proud of that, man. Looking into it and leveling up, Knight of Swords style. Really, like, dude, being up late at night, dive bombing in on this and literally, like, saying what you mean. Gemini energy off of this with Libra and Aquarius on the side. Heavy Aquarius, though, with this Pluto and Aquarius influence that comes in for a rebirth and a new beginning with that Knight of Swords. Maybe before I see, like, when you guys were, were you know, on the outs, when you had that fight, it was hard to communicate. And you were so afraid of being judged on this that you would really kind of, you know, type in your text and then delete it or edit it and then resend it and retype it. And then even still on that two of wands, you'd come to something four of pentacles to a five pentacles choice with the wheel of fortune because you'd get like little to nothing back. And you'd be like, well, okay, thought that one would work, but for some reason it didn't. Put you in an eight of swords to a three of swords motion mentality where, yeah, you feel like it falls onto deaf ears. And your heart's still beating, but this energy comes in and just rips the, the soul out of it where you just like carry on and proceed forward. You know, the heart's still beating, but like there's nothing but black inside there. And, and like it, it propels you through it that brings you to this five-on point, the struggle to feel complete and feel whole again for the both of you with the King of Wands. 
it's a twin flame connection too that comes down on this. This is my twin card here. And Ben Guggenheim was indeed a millionaire playboy. That would have been the guy back in the day that everybody would be like, yeah, that's my twin flame. Ben Guggenheim, man, that's my twin flame. And he did it in style with this energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius on this Leo struggle with the five of wands. So Leo and Aquarius ring heavy out. Sagittarius shows up on this one too, you know. But <clears throat> as it rolls in, you 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 just want to level up and feel better and happy about yourself. In, in a king of wands mentality, your pentacles level up and you start looking better. Like what I was saying from the male perspective, maybe even a hair color change. Like it. Like if you're a Virgo that was brunette, you decided to go for blonde or you leveled up somehow and did something that was like a change change just to feel better on this. And it's like feeling like in competition with yourself. It's like old Virgo did this, new Virgo's doing this and, and you're just mm, loving it. You know, it's like from flip flops to stilettos, that whole thing where you just like and this confidence like transmits out with this energy. And there's heavy influence from Jupiter in Aries for good luck with the Sagittarius energy, almost like a wheel of fortune coming out. So, yeah, Six of Swords, like I was saying, looking away from the bad stuff, but looking back just enough that you can keep your, your head up held up high because you look back on the stuff that you didn't like and bring it back in yeah, from both sides, you and them. Almost like you want to talk to them and, you know, get it out and say it right. And like, well, yeah, but when this happened, I didn't like it so much. Is, could we do it somewhere else so that we both like it and come to an agreement on it? You know, Six of Swords to the Two of Wands. That sort of a thing, making the choice to protect yourself on the Four of Pentacles. So with that in mind, let's take a peek at what's on their mind as you transmit out. We're all going through this retrograde. All 7 billion of us are dealing with the exact same thing. We're underneath the same skies, the same stars, and being pulled on by the same energy. So with that in mind, let's take a look. I appreciate you very much for being here, Virgo. Love that like for me. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you're working with, who you're working with, and just what's going on, man. Love communicating with you. And then, uh, remember, we go live every Monday nights here, 8 p.m. Eastern. So come hang out for the All Signs. All right. Woo, what jumped? Whoa, multiple jumpers. We're all over the place. We've got the Starman, and we've got the Nine of Wands. Your person is protecting themselves for a new beginning. Aries and Sagittarius energy right there, um, where they're seeing something coming out of this Ten of Swords. Whoa. They are up about passing tests and feeling complete about this. It's almost like your person sees and feels it coming. And just is like, okay, I'm being tested again. I did something else I did wrong. I got to clear this up. I just keep feeling like I'm failing this one. Eight of cups. I just keep like I'm failing this one and need to walk towards something better to a nine pentacles with a three of wands. Your person knows the time is right to come forward for something that's a new beginning. Look at how they're energizing. Maybe even where you triggered an awakening in them, Virgo, with that nine of wands to come to something that's even more protected, more, you know, they're really defending themselves here. Donald Trump would be jealous of this wall. Sag energy on both sides of the fence here too, you and them. So that's, that's communication, that's balance too, of finding the adjustments to work together and listening it out and hearing it through with the Princess of Cups, Cancer energy. They've got a little small beginning. They're a little immature. I even see a smaller age difference that could be off this between you and them where they want to feel the love and want to come forward with it. And there's something that propels them forward that way. So they see love with you and want to try something else different. They're kind of balancing, stabilizing themselves out and writing the energy out with the hangman. I told you they're starting to feel a little different, a little more getting internal and tapping into this Piscean energy, looking at the internal clockworks and how it goes. I almost see like the face of a clock that's opened up here where they're riding the flow out and know where they need to go or what to do, but they're way more tuning into intuition and seeing the other sides and looking at the other placements. I see somebody, Virgo, that's like checking out their moon sign, checking out their rising sign and looking at like every other placements going on. You've got Cancer, you've got Sag, you've got, uh, my goodness, Aries is here. You haven't even, you're the only one not making an appearance. You're laying low. You're riding that competition out at the top here, right? Just seeing where it goes. Seven of Swords, dude. They are up in their feels about this. They feel like you're not communicating. I see something where it's like they're at a point of being, you know, trying to play it cool, trying to get it off like everything's fine. But internally, they're really focusing on you. This could be something with that July tie-in with seven that resonates. Or again, with that Cancer energy I'm pulling onto this. So, so far, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio are, are pulling on them along with Aries on the back side of this. To the six of cups oh virgo they miss you you guys go back on this michael newton back you know i, I see somebody on this pisces to this uh, scorpio energy that's showing intuition really waking up scorpio is some of the deepest of the water signs they go they go much more intense than cancer and pisces do right here so they see something that goes way back i see like dolores cannon and alex uh, Collins and them 
that are looking back as, as like going towards the light that focus on you and seeing other ways of doing it, tuning in, tapping in and getting deep, you know, kind of like as if it's like going towards the light, they almost are looking at the other choices and options. And like how Michael Newton talks about that before we come back into this lifetime, after we finish the last cycle, that we go through that review of our soulmates and, and see who we'll be coming into again. So it's like they know you guys connect and you guys have been around this and done it before and they feel that connection to you. And it's like when they chose to come into this lifetime and clicked on it, they didn't realize what the impact is that you would have on them. So let's take a peek at some clarifiers. Let me see this Aquarius, uh, definitely on that side showing up. Aries is here too. That um, that intuition picks up a lot more at that purple. You guys have something that that's that's fixable. You know, each time we come back, it's 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 fixing the wow. The chariot just hop jumped right out into my lap. Foot on the gas, no one's gonna crash. Always on the go, can't say no. And yeah, this one exiles out of there. This is showing spirit is propelling them towards a new beginning. And Mars just went from Cancer into Leo. So that uh, brings in Jupiter with good luck because the, the Sphinx is on the chariot. Um, that's the Sphinx that exile on, the, on the, the Wheel of Fortune card in the Jupiter. So I see that pulling on this energy, Cancer, Sagittarius. And it's like an autopilot as you tune in into those Akashic records that I not mentioned getting a little deeper and getting a little more affected by it. So it's like a cord that ties you both together, Virgo, that is, is like propelling you guys back together. Distance is definitely a factor. Children possibly as well could be involved with this chariot card. But this chariot card represents that energetical cord on autopilot because it's the Titanic on its way out on April 12th heading into the open sea. So it is still actually under the power of the tugboats. It's not under its own steam yet. So it's still under like a harbor pilot. The captain's not in charge yet. And so it's, it's spirit as the tugboat propelling your person towards you. You're a guiding light and a factor for them with this three of wands, like looking at the energy and knowing it's it, that, that they've made the right choice and they need to go this way. This three of wands is looking back on the sinking Titanic going, I am really glad I got in the lifeboat when that officer asked me to, you know, whatever options they had, they're feeling it with you for the six of wands. And this is coming in. Remember I said you were a five of wands trying to achieve your six of wands with that king of wands twin flame card on this one. And here it shows up. Caitlin Petty appears with that Six of Wands victory after giving a live performance and everybody in the place just applauding her and subscribing to her YouTube and following her on TikTok and Instagram. And she just goes home being like, yeah, man, I did that. Woo! John Lennon's on stage with the Rickenbacker because they see victory with you. This could be a Cancer Leo connection that I brought up with the other cards that um, something through July and August holds significance to you guys. And that's where the victory rides. That's when John stands up with his Rickenbacker and takes that bow. It's, it's getting that extra wand, ace of wand, that achieves the victory, and they see it with you. They're getting drawn to a point of having to communicate to a swords, to justice, to the magician, and judgment. Yeah, Jimmy Go Energy reigning their choice to take a leap of faith and come in on this Aquarius, okay? Libra, too, showing in that the you know the scales of justice balance out. Like I, like I brought up Seven of Pentacles. Like I brought up that you know legal issues in tarot and health issues in tarot this stuff can be handled by doctors and lawyers people that took you know eight years to go to school and and get the 3d work right you don't come to tarot readings for that stuff justice in a tarot reading granted x's return and yet there could be legal settlements that get finalized etc and so forth but in the 5d energy libra energy is the balancing of the chakras the heart and the head and coming to a term that you feel, you know, just stable and, and zen, you know, that's the scale of justice balancing out when everything feels good and together. This is seven of pentacles, kind of like they've rode out the storm and are, and, are, and are at that point of a new beginning and something that could go long term. And I mentioned that seven, seven connection as the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles show up. So on your side of the fence, the eight, eight thing rings out on your person side, the seven, seven rings out. So these things here could be ringing out to you. And numbers or synchronicities that come in that let you know that you guys are communicating with each other. And like you see a 7-7 seven, seven on a license plate and you're like, oh, yeah, my person. Oh, yeah, Virgo. You guys start to meet on that point and comes into it. And they see that as something that goes the distance for swords. Yeah, they can't sleep too well at night because uh, these swords are like literally around them. This dude's got a sword on the pad, a sword hanging on the wall. And, you know, the last thing he's thinking about is the fact that that ship could hit an iceberg and go down. So, they, they, dude, light sleeping, your person staying up at night, really kind of focused. Like, they go to sleep, but they never feel like they slept. You know you have those moments, Virgo, where it's like, dude, I, I laid in the bed with my eyes closed for six hours, and I just felt like I was just looking at the inside of my eyelids. I don't feel like I ever entered REM sleep. They get to that point because they're just trying to find some peace so that they come in correct to you with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving on that Seven of Cups type of a feel of the just taking forever. 
but they're stabilizing in this Torian energy that makes them come back and try tested and true. It, granted, it's slow moving, but you know what? It, it's, it's the U.S. Postal Service of the deck here. This is neither rain nor sleet nor snow. This Knight of Pentacles delivers the pentacle in perfect condition so that it can it can arrive proper and on time. Maybe maybe they should have paid for express mail. I don't know. But either way, they know the time is right to do something about it, and they're going to come back correct to it because Spirit is bringing you guys together. So, yeah, in your readings here on this, well, Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, feeling like they've got to walk towards happiness, Nine of Pentacles, all you need is love. So, yeah, man. Um, Dude, Earth is actually the minimal energy here. Swords up the wazoo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got heavy Cancer, heavy Sagittarius, heavy Aries, Leo's hanging out, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, dude, literally, like, it could be any sign. Every energy is affecting you, Virgo. All eyes are on you. So, um, however you're looking good and confident, keep it up, Virgo. Licious to the point. Dang, nice. If this resonated, Virgo, be sure to uh, love that like for me. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you're working with, what you're working with, and how it's going for you. I love it. And um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you may two of wands free will choose to do so by emailing me, archerastrology at gmail.com, and we will connect and hook up and take it from there, Virgie. So remember, this will indeed resonate to any and all placements within your chart of Virgo. We are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology and will read for any sign which desires and inquires. So until next time, join me, set that bell to all notifications and join me down on Monday at 8 p.m. along Eastern time, <laughs> along with J-Dub and the Mod Squad in the live chat for a little tarot and chill. We do Aries to Pisces, you versus them, plus two bonus readings, checking in on the soulmate and the twin flame cycles. So that's right. You get 14 readings here at Archer Astrology. So be there. Yeah. All right, Virgo. Until next time, make it an awesome one because you know I admire you dearly. All right. Archer out. Yeah, chariot.